welcome to a new episode of In Your Face, I'm Latch, and Happy New Year! What did you get for Christmas? Personally, I got this. Mega Man! Metroid! I also got this. Wonder what the... Oh, it's Mega Man Mega Buster! Oh yeah! <laughs> Today I wanna talk about code. If you're not a coder, well, why don't you just get the fuck out? No, I'm kidding, of course. Actually, I need you. I'm gonna show you some code and let me know if you understand, alright? It'll be fun, stick around. Ready? Let's go! Enough messing around, let's get to work. So if you're not a coder, I want you to try to understand this. I promise it'll be simple. Alright, let's go. If Latch is hungry, Latch eat burrito. Else, Latch drink maple syrup, Latch drink beer, Latch look handsome. Pretty simple, right? Well, that's code. Okay, just one more. While Latch has enough money and Latch is not retired, Latch make games, Latch make YouTube videos. If Latch is millionaire, Latch hire hookers. Else, if Latch is bankrupt, Latch consider prostitution. Okay, so why can you understand this, but not this? The reason why you can understand the first one is because it's clean code. And that's what I want to talk about, cleaning your code. <laughs> All clean. If your code can be read by an encoder, it's clean code. If your code can be read like a story, it's clean code. Gotcha. So what? It's very important because for every line of code you write, you read 10 more. You don't spend your time writing code, you spend your time reading, analyzing, understanding, thinking of a solution, and then write. So, clean code is very important because it makes your code trivial to read. Let me give you a real life example. In pretty much every game, you need to detect if two things are colliding together. The easiest way is to check with two circles. The famous equation is this. So in your code you probably have something like this. And that works perfectly. The problem is, every single time you're gonna read this line, you will have to translate that line of code to what it means, to what it does. And that's time you're wasting. Instead, just create a function with a meaningful name, so now you don't have to translate anymore. The name of the function tells you what it does, and you can forget about all the details. You won't have to decipher the code again. You'll just read the code like a story, just like we did earlier. Clean for the sake of your future self, who will read your code over and over again. So it may sound like a very simple advice, but in my 10 years of coding, this is the best advice I've ever got. This is the best coding book I've ever read. I've read it twice and I shall read it again. Buy it, read it and apply it. So thank you for watching this episode of In Your Face, uh, you can subscribe to my channel, you can ask me anything on Facebook or Twitter, or you can ask me anything on my website, indyearface.com. Uh, keep asking me questions, guys, I love it. And if there's a subject you want me to talk about, uh, please let me know. Alright, see you soon, bye!